Good day to you students. Uh, we will be con we'll continue from where we stopped the last time because we started with a source document the last time. We went through the journal, which is the day book. We went to the ledgers, we treated some questions on the ledgers. Today we'll be looking at trial balance. Now, before we look at trial balance, uh, all accounting has a procedure. There is a procedure for all accounting records. What do I mean? The first point of caption in an accounting is captured in what? Source document. And we have checked, we looked at different source documents in our last class. We looked at invoice, we looked at uh, debit and credit notes, etc. When you go through your notes, last class, you will know. Then the journal, we differentiated between the journal and the ledgers, if you can remember. The journal is used for what? Recording day-to-day -day activities. That is, act, uh, transactions which are on credit are recorded in the journal. But there is a particular journal which we told you about, cash book. This is a peculiar journal because it is not only a journal, it also functions as a what? Ledger. If you remember the last class, you can make a visit to your last class. Then the ledgers. We talked about the different ones. We talked about the private ledgers. We talked about the personal ledgers. We talked about the real ledgers. And we talked about the nominal ledgers. Remember, I told you the private ledgers. What is it used for? The owners of the what? Business. That is their capital and drawings. This is where you see. Then the personal account. I told you the two types of personal. There's the debtors and there's the creditors. What do I mean? All names of everybody owing the firm, which is the debtor, are recorded here. While all names of people the business are owing, or entities the business are owing, are recorded in what is called creditors ledger. Then the real ledgers. We talked about the fixed assets, e.g., let's look at this uh, tutorial for instance. This is a fixed asset. Why? It can what? Last for more than one accounting period. That's why they call it fixed asset. Benches, equipment, etc. Those are recorded under the word real uh, uh, ledger. Then, the nominal ledger comprises what? The income and expenses account. So those ones are recorded under what is called the nominal ledgers. Now, when you finish recording in your nominal ledgers, you will now bring out all the words, all the balances, that is credit and debit balances, and put them in what is called a trial balance. Now, what is the essence of this trial balance? If you remember, when we are dealing on a double entry principle, we said transaction will always be what? Twofold. What do I mean? One party will be giving, another party will be receiving. So, that means for every credit entry, remember the principle, there must be a corresponding debit entry. Now, to keep in line with this word, this basic principle of accounting, they brought out what is called trial balance. Now, what is the essence of trial balance? All these ledgers, which comprises of different accounts, their debit and credit balances are what? Put in the trial balance. And why did they do that? To check that what? The credit balances must be of necessity be equal to what? The debit balance. Why did they say so? If the credit balance is not equal to the debit balance, that means the word, the basic principle, which is the word, double entry has not been what? Obeyed. So always take note. The essence of this trial balance is to make sure that all the credit and the debit entry and balances as contained in this word, ledgers, are what? Equal. Because let's look at it. What you give out is what is being received. It may not be in the same form, but it must be of the same value. That means if you give out 100 naira or whatever amount, you will get goods and services of that same value back to you. So to keep in line with this, 
and that is where they brought out what? Child balance. So child balance is just a check on all these entries made what? Made here. All these postings made in this ledger to make sure that what? All the credit entries in any of these and debit entries in any of these are what? Equal. If they are not equal, this child balance will quickly show that what? The, there must have been an error in either of these. That means maybe debit has been overcasted uh, or undercasted or credit has been overcasted or undercasted, uh, undercasted. So please take note. Now, after the trial balance, the whole balances that have been listed for of what? These different accounts will now be extracted and there's what is called the final account. Now, what is the final account, you may ask? It comprises of the trading profit and loss account and what? The balance sheet. Now, another name, recent name, due to the what? Because accounting is not a static what? Subject. It keeps changing. It has standards. So due to that standard, they now brought out a name for what? This is the old name, trading profit and loss account. The new name, according to accounting standard, is known as what? Statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income. So please, when you see this, don't be confused. What they are just trying to say is what? Trading profit and loss account. The only difference is this one comprises more compared to what this because you have what is called other comprehensive income. Get it? Very good. Now, the second one. Now, why do they even make the trading profit and loss account? You may need to ask. Why? Why the trading profit and loss account? Now, the main reason for trading profit and loss account is to know whether a business is performing. Performing in what sense? There is what is called in accounting languages. They will only say bottom line. What do they mean by bottom line? That is what is called profit, which in this case is usually the net profit. Because you know there is a difference between net profit and gross profit. Though we will be treating more of that when we get to the word trading profit and loss account. So this bottom line is used which is the word net profit or gross profit. And we will look at the difference later is to know whether the business is performing. Performing in what sense? For every year, beginning of accounting year, all businesses always have a target. What do I say? A target. And that target is usually measured in net profit. And this net profit, this information, can only be derived when you want draw up your trading profit and loss account or your statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income. Now, after that, there's what is called balance sheet, which is another name based on the accounting standard statement of financial position. Now, what is the essence of this balance sheet? Now, businesses have assets. They also have liability and capital, which we treated in our last section. Now, what is this balance sheet all about? This balance sheet shows the balances of what? The capital, the liabilities, and the assets. Why does it show the balances? If you remember, I told you in the last session, capital is money introduced by the owner of the business into the what? Business. Let me repeat. Capital is the money into money or resources. It's not necessarily money. Let's use that word resources. Introduced into the business by the owners of the business. But liabilities is the resources introduced by other parties that are not owners of the business. But they also have a stake in the business. What do I mean? If a bank gives you a loan, definitely you are indebted to the what? To the bank. So the bank already has a stake on that business. If you buy goods on credit, you are indebted. You have obligation with what? To the creditor. Definitely 
the creditors, the bank loans, all those ones will come under what is called liabilities because they are not the owners of the business. But even though they are not the owners, they still also have stake in the business because of what? The advances in terms of what? Loan and credit what? Purchases. Then, when the what? Resources of the owner, which is known as capital, plus the resources of people that are not the owners that also have stake in the business are pulled together they now use it to the business will now use it to purchase what is called what the assets i remember we told you uh, we discussed the last time that assets are of two types what are the two assets fixed assets and what current assets what is the difference between the two you may ask Fixed asset has to do with, just as I said, this board is a fixed asset. The desk and benches you use in the tutorial classes is also a fixed asset. So anything, any resource that can last for more than one accounting period is known as what? Fixed asset. But the current asset, like cash, stock, all those ones are usually used up within a what? An accounting period, which is usually one year. So, fixed asset usually exceeds more than one year or one accounting period. Then, current assets are usually used up in the what? They are usually used up in the current accounting period. That means they don't usually exceed the current accounting period. So, that is the difference between current asset and fixed asset. And they are used, they are purchased or what? Um, acquired by the business. Through the what? Resources contributed by the owners, known as what? Capital. And the resources contributed by who? By other people that also have stake in the business, in known as what? Liabilities. So all those balances are shown in what is called a balance sheet. So we'll look at some questions briefly. Okay, now, a brief definition of trial balance. It is a list of all balances, that is credit and debit, as shown in the what? Various accounts in the ledger. Now, what is different between credit balance and debit balance? A credit balance shows that an amount on the credit side of an account is greater than what? the amount on the debit side. Example of accounts that have credit balances, e.g. sales, commission receipt, then income, in short, all income accounts, all income and liabilities accounts. Those ones are what? They always have credit balances. But debit balances occur when the amount on the debit side of an account is greater than the amount on the credit side. An example usually include purchases, rent, in short, all expenses and assets accounts. You normally, they normally have what is called a debit balance. So please take note, credit balance, amount on the credit side greater than amount on the debit side. Example, sales, commission, receipt, in short, all income and liabilities account. Then debit balance, that means the amount on the debit side is greater than what? The amount on the credit side. Example, purchases, rent, and all expenses and assets account. Taking notes, very good. Now let's continue. Okay, now look at this extract. This, let's look at it. We'll now what? Know which one will be debited or has a debit balance and which one will be credited and has a credit balance. From the following, from the following, extract the trial balance. Now, these are all the list of balances of each of these accounts. Let's start with the first one. Purchases. Purchases. This is an expense. It will be on the debit side of a trial balance. 
motor expenses. Remember, we said all expenses have debit balance. So this is also on the debit side. Now, motor expenses is different from motor car, please. Motor car is an asset, but motor expenses, just as the word expenses, means it is an expense account and they always have a debit balance. Rent paid, debit balance. Commission received, any income you receive, it is a credit balance. Salaries and wages, these are all expenses which will have a debit balance. Insurance, debit balance. Electric, electrical expenses, debit balance. Sales, this is an income, credit balance. Motor vehicle, definitely this is an asset. It will be what? Debited. Furniture, debited. Stock, debited. Because this is an asset, asset, fixed asset, current asset. Now, capital is a liability to the what? Owners of the business. So this is a credit. Cash advance, this is an asset, debit. Then, rent received. This is an income coming in, credit. So this is just a list. Now, if we drop up the list, Based on this, we cannot draw up the trial balance. Trial balance is always written in two, is always broken into two parts. The debit, credits. Now, purchases, purchases, which is our debit, it will be here. Remember your now, debit balance, 176,000. Motor expenses, where would that be? Debit. 7,800. Rent paid. Expenses, where would that be? Debit, 5,000. Commission received, that is an income. Credits, balances, salaries, and wages. Expenses, debit, balance, insurance, an expense also, 1,200, debit, 1, debit balance. Electrical expenses, debit balance, 270. Sales, that is an income credit, 420,000. Motor vehicle, this is an asset, 50,000. Furniture, Fixed assets, 35,000. Stock, current asset, 177,000 on the debit. Capital, which is liability owned by the business to the owners. Credit, 50,000. Cash at bank. That is the cash the business has with the bank. Debit, 15,730. Rent received. Rent received is a what? Is an income. It will come under here. Now, collating everything. Collating everything. This is what? Let's look at it. This plus this, 426 plus this, 476. Then plus this, 478,000. So this 478,000. Now let's look at this. This plus this will give you what? This. 18,300. 18,300. Plus this. 188,800 plus this 198,800 plus this uh, 200 and 200 and uh, 
This is 200,000. This is 200,270. This is 250,270. This is 285,270. 462,270. Then 478,000. So you can see, this shows that all the posting made in the ledger to get all these balances is accurate because the total debit balance is 478,000. The total credit balance is also 400 and what? 78,000. So this is how you do the trial balance. Always look, always analyze which one has debit balance. And I told you, debit balance account involves what? Expenses and assets. While all credit balances involve what? The liabilities, which is including capital, and what? Income. Please take notes. This is the what? Record. So this is where we'll draw. Then we'll move on to what is called the cash 